tell us more about yourself. How did you get into all this? You know, see this other Asian boy. <laughs> Don't get into the entertainment. Why aren't you a doctor, accountant, dentist? Well, I have to thank my family for that, always supporting me for what, what I wanted to do. Um, and uh, it started 12 years ago, 12, 13 years ago. I was just a, a, a boy in school. I used to uh, DJ, started DJing at, at friends' parties and stuff. And within a few days, I learned DJing, and uh, they started taking me to their events. And so you slowly just picked up. I was picked up by leading entertainment company of uh, Delhi Sound and Music, and uh, it just started from there. This was in India. This was in India. Yes. Right. Uh, then 2003, I, I came to the UK to do a proper production course. And did, and did you kind of go, okay? Uh, I've got a dream. I want to. I want to <laughs> make a record. I want to release an album. To be honest, no. Uh, I was. I was very happy with the DJing and the event side of things right. because that was keeping me very busy. Uh, that was my full-time thing. Uh, but over the past few years, it's become uh, apparent that, uh, you know, DJs are taking out albums and uh, that obviously helps in their profile, so... So, you know, as a DJ, is it true that DJs always get the girls? Uh, you <laughs> Actually, say that like we've never DJed. Let, <laughs> let me clarify this. Actually, DJs don't get the girls because they, they're DJing. Uh -huh. They're keeping the atmosphere really nice uh -huh. and cool. And the girls are probably looking at the DJ, and at the end of it, someone else takes the girls, oh, and, the, and the DJ's... Leave it too late, that's what happens. <laughs> um, but, you know, like now, because when you're DJing, sometimes it can be quite a lonely job, because you're there, you're making sure everyone's having a good time. Um, but now it's kind of, you know, you're promoting the album, you're in front of the cameras. How are you finding all the attention? Um, uh, I'm just fine with it. I'm, I'm not very... Uh, I, I don't want a lot of attention. I'm just uh, very technical. Uh, you know, when it comes to music, I just want to uh, promote the music, the sound of the music, rather than myself and the singers. I've got so many singers on the album, new singers. Do you sing yourself? No. Why not? <laughs> well, back in school, I was in the choir, but I, I, uh -huh. maybe I'll try it later on. Maybe I'll try it later on. <laughs> <laughs> but you obviously have an ear for knowing when someone's out of tune, when a, when a track may not sound right. Yes, yes, of course. And was that part of your production course here? Yes, I play the keyboard as well. So right. uh, definitely, uh, that obviously I, I can tell when someone is going off. <laughs> so do you auto-tune them? No, no, no. Well, I'm not a very that. good fan. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of auto-tuning. I know it's become so popular now and some yeah. singers are using it. Um, I think there's only one track where I've used it, but very subtly. Um, what is auto-tuning for everybody who doesn't know what auto-tuning is? Okay. You should know. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 la. No, no. <laughs> it's basically, okay, technically, it's uh, through softwares, you can tune, that's mm. what's called auto-tune, you can tune uh, the singer right. to make it sound right. Yeah. Um, a lot of singers, urban artists use it. Bollywood, uh, everyone is using well, it's it. Become, it's, it's kind of fashionable now, isn't it? it? Yeah. To get that little yes. robotic sound. Yes, and uh, I, I had to uh, argue with myself over this because I wanted to use it in a couple of tracks, but then in the end, I've just used it only in one track, so hopefully you like it. And so <laughs> how, how many tracks are on the album? Yes, uh, there are nine tracks in total. Uh -huh. Uh, two different versions of two, uh, two of the tracks, and the rest um, uh, are all original compositions. And are we going to see another single release from the album? Yes, after Bekabur, Bekabur is out now. Uh, after this, it's Koke Wala Nag, which is a Bangra Punjabi what, what's track. What's it? Koke Wala Nag. Koke Wala Nag. What does that mean? Uh, Koka. Oh, like, so, oh, very long yes, gavata. Yes. Koke Wala Nag. Exactly, yes, that's the concept. Ah. And what kind of type of video are we going to have for that? It's all about uh, Delhi. I've shot it in oh, Delhi, uh -huh. over eight locations. Um, directed what, what locations have you shot at in Delhi? Oh, everywhere from Kutub Minar yeah. to uh, Jantar Mantar to the Kanaw places. And um, it, I've, I've got really the cream and the colours of Delhi. Mm. And I hope people like it. It's directed by my very good friend, upcoming Bollywood director, Nishit Bhatia. Uh -huh. He was assistant director of Kurban and oh, Nanjani wow. Anjana. So, um, yes, it's, it, it is that, it's got that Bollywood flavour as well. So, are you doing this all by yourself? Have you got major record company backing? No, I'm doing it all by myself. Uh, everything is online, I'm promoting on my, on my own, and I'm getting the support of uh, BFU and you guys. <laughs> and uh, if someone wants to um, get the album, how can they get it online? What do they have to do? It's simple, it's on iTunes and Amazon. Um, mm. You just have to search for uh, the single track, or my name, X Vader. And Manish, you know, if somebody wants to audition for you, you know, for the next album, you're a great fan of like vocalists, what do they have to do? Simple, just get in touch and uh -huh. uh, if you're good, uh, we'll, we'll do something together. <laughs> and how do you record? Is it small little studios? Is it 
Now, how, what's the process? I'm, I won't lie. It's a basic studio, uh -huh. and uh, uh, it's obviously I, I because I'm a DJ slash producer, so I make the tune first. I compose. Composing is very very important, which right. uh, many of the producers mm. obviously they get it easy because they they get all the composition done by the singer itself. But I compose the basic tune. I uh, give it to the singer. I tell the singer the concept, and uh, we literally sometimes write the the uh, song with the lyricist. Right. All my lyrics have been written by uh, Mukti Arpaji from Delhi. Right. Um, and we literally sat down, I gave him the concept, he, he came up with concepts, we sat with the singer and we uh, went to the recording studios. And you recorded. know, as a DJ, what's your all-time favourite song? Ooh, very Wait, tough what, which one. Which one makes you go, wow, <laughs> even every time you hear it? Ah, oh, that's a very tough one. Um, I don't know, I mean, a lot of uh, stuff, one of the inspirations, like, in, mm. uh, uh, I, I would say, was uh, Bali Sagu. Uh, I've done loads of events with him in Delhi, and he has always been an inspiration. The he's stuff a very nice guy. I mean, he was here recently in London, and we yes, had a cup yes. of tea with him, shall we say? Yes, yes. He's a very, very sweet guy. Very down to earth, yeah. and even at events, we just have fun. Uh, so, he's that kind of is guy. that your icon? I would say, yes, uh, when it comes to commercial, international commercial music, right. because he's done the Bhangra stuff, he's done the Bollywood stuff as well, and, and my sound is is, I would not say the same, but it's similar because obviously he did the remixes yeah, and, and yeah. the little original compositions. Well, can we just say best of luck with Thank the album? Um, and we, we're looking forward to seeing the Delhi video, especially me because I'm a bit of a Delhi boy. Yeah. And so I want to see the colours of so Delhi and feel like I'm there. Beekabur is the first single. Yes. And, and the this, album's called Jeevan. Yes. And this, the next single is... Kokiwala Nak. Yes. Kokiwala Nak. Yes. We're looking yes. forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gaya, see, cut the killer, that's a good thing. I'm the 